Hey everyone, Master Zazu here, and welcome back to another episode on the Wii Craft server. Today, we are starting things out in the end because I have a project planned for today that I think you guys are going to enjoy. So in the last episode, we tried to get as many wither skulls as we possibly could from a one-layer double intersection wither skeleton farm. And now that we have all of those wither skulls, we need something to do with them. So, obviously, we should make them into beacons. And, oh no, I'm about to die. I think I'm gonna go ahead and despawn these endermen. But without further ado, let's hop straight in to the time lapse. So we have finished building up the farm, and now we're going to go ahead and test it. So we have to go ahead and load each of these dispensers up with one stack of wither skulls. And then we're going to come over to this chest right over here, dump all of the soul sand into it, except for four. So we're going to leave four inside of our inventory, and the rest goes inside of there. And now let's get it started up. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and put our soul sand in there and then we have to come around to the front and hit this button and there we go it works my achievements got reset again I've talked about this in previous episodes but yeah now what we basically do is we go around and I think what we do is burn down our volume there we go now the volume is a lot lower and now we can go ahead and pull down right quick and yeah so the wivers are getting killed by entity cramming if we go ahead and hop out of our mine cart we can see it i'm in a free cam this free cam is done using a mod called tweakeroo very helpful mod it's very cool to be able to see stuff like this and i can still control my guy from here so it's really cool and yeah we can go ahead and actually see the wivers getting summoned in so as you see it goes ahead and pushes the soul sand up and then those dispensers dispense the wither heads on. So yeah, we just sit here AFK and this is going to kill the wivers as fast as possible. It would be a little bit quicker using a smite sword, but it would also not be AFKable. So this is a very good alternative and a stack of beacons will take less than an hour, which is pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and get an entire stack of beacons. As you can see from the time lapse, the farm definitely works. It did not take me long at all to get these Never Stars. And yeah, it worked like a charm. And whenever we want to start it back up again, I think we just load it up and we hit the button and we're going to be able to use this. So yeah, a very nice farm, 100% lossless because we got an entire stack and we put in three stacks of Wither Skulls, which makes sense. So yeah, an entire stack of beacons, which is pretty crazy. So we are going to need a substantial amount of blue ice for the next part of this episode. So we are tearing down this iceberg. And as you can see, we are getting tons and tons of ice. It's not going to be enough for all of what we're going to do, but it's going to be enough to get us started. And we are going to make some fast, fast never tunnels. Now, I have been kind of annoyed with going back and forth in between my wither skeleton farm because it's 600 blocks away and it wastes a decent amount of rockets. And you know, I like to conserve my rockets because they're kind of annoying to crap. So, if we're able to make a blue ice highway there, it's going to save us a ton of time. So as I was flying to the frozen ocean, I noticed these chunk borders. And these are very strange, definitely. I think they might have been caused by world corruption. But at the same time, I don't think world corruption would cause something quite like this. This looks more like... Um, chunks generating in between different versions but this has only been in the 1.16 versions 1.16 1.16.1 all the way to 1.16.3 so I'm not sure what could have caused this line uh, it's right along zero on the Z axis which is very strange indeed because yeah this just looks very weird 
Um, so I guess it probably goes all the way to spawn. But let's go ahead and fly down it to see how far it goes. It might stop up here. Not quite sure. Oh yeah, it definitely stops right here. So it definitely doesn't go to spawn, but that is a very weird occurrence on the LeafCraft server. And it looks like we're going to be able to fly at super speeds back to our base, which is going to save us a lot of time. So here we are in the nether, and I've got to try and get up into my hole. There we go. Fairly simple. And yeah, I guess I'm just going to make a long ice pathway all the way to the river skull farm. Out of blue ice, I'm going to do the every other trick, where I don't have to place it on every block and just every other block. Because it will still work just fine. So yeah, I guess this is going to be my life for a bit. So we have constructed the basic part of it and let's take a look at this oh my god it's so fast i have never built a blue ice road and i can tell you they're definitely worth it if you can get your hands on a bit of blue ice look how fast we are flying down this tunnel look, look at the coordinates in the top left on my mini hood display that's crazy man let's let's go ahead and time how long it takes us to get there i'll put a timer on screen when we start Man, those are just some crazy speeds. I think that's where I'm gonna end the episode for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. And man, look at these chunks struggling to render in at this speed. Anyway, until next time, I'm out. Peace!